So in the world of content creation, everyone is trying to get ahead of the game and it's good to do so. You want to stay ahead of your competitors. You want to try out the new technology and programs and platforms even so you can test the water and you can possibly catch on to new things and trends that will increase your viewers and help grow your content. Now, uh, a while back, I posted a video about multi-stream and an OBS plugin, which you can install that allows you to stream to multiple platforms from OBS without having to have any other programs installed. Now, what if I can tell you that I have something else for you guys, but this plugin does a little bit more. So in today's video, I will be bringing you guys Atom Vertical OBS plugin. And what's very nice about this plugin is that unlike other traditional plugins, this plugin is very easy to install. You just simply download it, run the installer and relaunch OBS and it will just be there. It'll uh, be installed into OBS. Uh, first off again, like I was saying, this vertical plugin makes it simple to create vertical layouts of your existing OBS setup, ready to record or go live at the click of a button. So like I said, you can use this plugin to record in the YouTube short format so you can make it easier to edit later on in your video editors so you can post them to uh, YouTube shorts and they will already be in the format that you want them to be in. That is just one of the many uses of this plugin uh, alongside streaming in the vertical format which allows you to stream and be shown in the YouTube short section on people's YouTube shorts and that's amazing and I will talk about those two facts and more in my next video talking about the uh, the like I said the applications of this and how to use this program to increase the performance of your content that's coming make sure to subscribe so let's get into the installation you want to just click on the download vertical it'll send you to the download page and then you will be given um, your download you will open up the download and it will uh, I already got it and it will look like this and like I said, unlike other plugins for OBS, we are just simply going to choose a place, a directory. I just have it right there in my uh, programs files, my OBS studio directory. I'm gonna hit next, I already have it. So once you run the installer, you, run, you hit uh, next and then hit install. It's all, literally all you have to do. So after you install it, you have to just close OBS and once you relaunch OBS, you will be given three new windows. And the three new windows will look very, very familiar because these three windows are vertical sources, vertical scenes, and the vertical. So this is your layout. And as you can see, this is kind of the layout that I have right now. Rough layout because I'm just now starting with this. And uh, this is for my YouTube uh, stream, kind of. And as you can see, it's already in the shorts layout that you see, or the mobile layout, the, uh, the portrait layout that you see uh, on YouTube shorts. So um, so what you will be given, I'll just add a, new, add a new scene. So this is your scenes, this is your sources, and this is your layout. It would be on OBS, but it's, uh, I have these windows pulled off to the side. So when you first install it, this is what you'll see. You'll see, you, you know, you have no scenes, your block, your box will be black and um, your vertical sources will be empty. So it, you treat it just like OBS, the scenes and sources adding and uh, you know grouping your scenes and your sources. I will get into, like I said, in-depth explanations of stuff in other videos and my next video is gonna be a banger. Like I said, don't miss that one. So what we're going to want to do to set up this vertical layout to work with our platform of choosing is to click the settings wheel and for now, in the general tab, you wanna make sure that the resolution is in 1080 by 1920. That is the vertical layout. And as I said before, it can be in other resolutions, but for now we are sticking with this. This is the vertical layout format that we want for YouTube shorts, TikToks and other vertical platforms. And then you click on the streaming tab. I am streaming this to YouTube. So I have the check enabled right there for streaming. I have it titled YouTube, I type this in. This is my server and stream key from my YouTube stream. I will have a video showing how to grab this information and you guys can check that out if you guys don't know how to get this information. But this is uh, 
pretty much your server and uh, stream key from whatever platform that you're streaming to. Um, it's, you know, you guys should know how to get that. If not, I'll show you guys how or figure out how in uh, other videos. But the video bitrate, this should be dependent on your internet performance. Now, if you're streaming to another platform at the same time as using this, you want to consider that and, you know, adjust it however you wish. I have uh, fiber, one gigabyte up and down. So just below 6,000 is where I have my video bitrate. Now, that should be good for streaming. Now, click on recording. Now, I have not recorded yet using Atom Live. So... I don't have a recording path, but you could just literally click on browse and choose where you want to save your recordings if you want to record. But this video is focused on streaming. So now once you have your stream key and your uh, the server added up to your settings, you simply can just click the green go live button right there. I'll make you go live to uh, whatever platform you're going live to. Now it's super important to note that you will be using this green button right here to stream using this vertical format. You will not be using the button on the OBS program that you're used to pushing to go live. You will be using this button right here. And on top of that, if you are using this specifically for YouTube streaming, like I do, you need to make sure that you have your YouTube studio window up for your live stream before you hit this live green button. That is something important to note. And if you don't know why your stream isn't going live, um, that's why is because you probably don't have your YouTube live stream window open before you hit the green button. You want to be on there first before hitting this. That's a very important note. But I just wanted to say that there is so much more that you could do with this plugin that I will be getting into uh, in the near future. Like the applications with this is amazing. You can actually show up in people's YouTube shorts uh, section if you were streaming this to YouTube, which is the main reason I'm using this application. But like I said, it's it's awesome for that. And I have a couple other tips to using this program. Make sure again, just uh, I can't stress it enough. Make sure to subscribe and enable those bell notifications to be notified when I drop my next streaming tutorial video here on YouTube. And without any further ado, guys, make sure to uh, leave comments down below. I love feedback. I stream every day over on Twitch. If you have any questions, make sure to stop by. Ask me in the chat, ask me in the comments, and let me know how I'm doing and what videos you want to see next. So without any further ado, my name is Mad, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.